So I had mentioned uh, Dr. Angela Poca in a previous video I made, but I wanted to give her a proper shout out. She's been doing really killer videos on occultism, esotericism, and comparative religions for quite some time now. I think it's like two years now she's been doing this. And I forget how I came across her channel, but I'm very happy I did. She's inspired me to start covering occultism again uh, more thoroughly. I had given up because, you know, this is the thing. I was raised as a Satanist. So when you're raised in an occult kind of... Now, Satanism is not necessarily occultism. But when you're raised in that kind of environment, you get sick and tired of occultism, even if you believe in it. Because the thing is... When you experience magic, it's very difficult not to believe it when you experience it. So it does exist, it is real, and you want to share your thoughts on it with the public, with other people. Uh, but honestly, with me, I'm, I'm a scientific pantheist, um, and I got sick and tired of occultism, of magic, etc. And I get sick and tired of people's opinions about magic, occultism, etc. Until I came across uh, Dr. Polka's uh, channel, which is Angela's Symposium. And the reason why I think I like her channel so much is she is a cultural anthropologist specializing in religions and esotericism. And her education is absolutely stupendous. She went to classical, which in, uh, in, Itali in Italy, classical high school, they specialize in the classics. She explains this. So she was translating uh, classic Latin and classic Greek texts. Uh, to modern Italian, at least I would presume it's modern Italian. And she would also, she eventually did specialize in other languages like um, Sanskrit and Tibetan. Now, anybody that can even understand, I don't know, I've practiced um, Tibetan yoga. Uh, and if you read a Tibetan script, uh, like the, when they make the letters into Latin script, Holy Christ, anybody that can even make an attempt at understanding Tibetan has my respect. <laughs> but the reason she chose to try and understand Sanskrit and Tibetan was to gain a deeper understanding of the Eastern texts of Buddhism and things of that nature. She's a very brilliant young lady. I love her channel. And best of all, she does try to be as objective as possible as a scientist. She is an anthropologist. So she tries to keep things as objective as possible, as I do to some extent. And she and the thing is, of course, you're going to understand because she is a practitioner of something. I don't know what. I do know she's of the left-hand path, but I don't know exactly what religion. And um, she does try to keep things uh, pure and objective and scientific. And I'm going to leave links to some of her videos as well as her channel. Um, for the people that are more pervy, that are just like into like hot chicks, whoo, you know, I mean, half the time I'm watching her channel, I'm basically lost in her eyes. But, <laughs> but factually speaking, the reason I'm making this video is she's very reactive to my comments. And I thought I owed it to her to give her a more thorough, uh, a more thorough shout out uh, channel wise. She is a lovely young lady, a uh, very, very interesting channel, and I like how she does keep things objective, straightforward, and is very good at explaining complete ideas in a concise manner. Anyway, that's my shout out for Angela's Symposium. I highly encourage anybody interested in the occult or comparative religions or esotericism in any way to check out Angela's Symposium. And that's all for this video.